Hey, building relationships with your buyers and sellers is super important, but these are not the only relationships you should be building. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Hey, if you're a new agent or just thinking about getting into the real estate business, you may wanna hit that subscribe button down below because I talk about real estate every week. So this week we're talking about building relationships and the obvious is, you know, building those relationships with buyers and sellers. We got that, we understand that part of it, but there's also some other folks you need to start building those relationships with. This is gonna help you become that real estate expert in your market. So keep in mind, this is something that you can be working on while you're still working on getting your license. So when you're working with some of these buyers and sellers, there's gonna be situations that are gonna pop up and they're gonna rely on you to handle that situation. So for instance, you have a home seller. Most of the time, these home sellers are gonna to need to do some type of repairs around the house to get it ready uh, for the market. And they're gonna rely on you to have a referral ready when they need it. So here's a few businesses that you need to start building relationships with. So when that question does come up, you're ready. So one of them is a handyman. It's always good to have a handyman around because they can kind of pretty much do everything. You know, you ever heard of the jack of all trades, master of none, but you still want this person around because every home has these little odds and ends that, that they need to be taken care of. And you kind of want that one person that can kind of handle a little bit of everything. Now with the handyman, like I said, jack of all trades, master of none, you still want to get those masters. Uh, so you want someone that only deals with plumbing. So you need you a good plumber. Go out there and find you a plumber, start building a relationship. This could be somebody that has worked on your home before, or maybe a friend can refer you to uh, a plumber. Also a good one to have is an electrician. Sometimes when you're selling a house, they have inspections and electrical issues can come up. So you need a professional electrician to be able to handle that situation so they can get receipts and everything can go smoothly and get you to close it. Another good person to, to have in your back pocket is a painter. Yeah, a painter. So if a house needs completely repainted, you've got a painter uh, inside, outside, they can handle it all. Painter's always a good person to, to have around. You know, someone else is someone that can do flooring. Maybe somebody they want to tear out floors, uh, replace the floors. It's always good to have a flooring company available. Someone else you need to have a relationship with is a roofer. Yeah, a local roofer, someone you can trust and depend on. I mean, most roofers, some of the guys that I know, they'll come out and inspect a roof for me at no charge. Uh, those guys are great, they always do a great job. And keep in mind, when you build these relationships with these folks, I mean, they'll answer your phone calls, they'll come right over for you. So it's very important to do this. One thing that we always don't think about is having a mower. Yeah, so I found out recently that my out of town, out of state clients, you know, they don't have time to, to drive up and mow their property. So it's always good to have a mowing company uh, in your back pocket as well uh, that can come and, and take care of these lawns for you. I've got you know, I mean, my mower right now. He's taking care of four properties for me and he does it on a weekly basis. So he loves me and guess what? He's also sent me referrals. So you're not only building this, these relationships to help out your buyers and sellers. Once you build these relationships and you create that know, like, and trust, well, guess what? They're gonna start referring you clients, their, their friends, their family. Uh, it all works out, it all comes around. Now, buyers are gonna rely on you to have these referrals ready too. So for instance, uh, you know, we mentioned a roofer, but also what about an inspector? So it's always good to have a few inspectors available. So right now we have one that was, that was out, uh, not available, but you know, I have two or three other inspectors that I work closely with and they're great guys. So it's always good to have a, a good inspector available and also, don't forget about a surveyor. So when your buyer's buying a property, sometimes these properties are gonna to need to be surveyed. So it's always good to have a local surveyor that you know you can count on. And when, I, when I'm talking about building these relationships with these particular people, you don't just need one, you need multiple because sometimes they're gonna be busy and they can't get to what you need at that certain time. So it's always good to have someone else to, to fall back on. Also, title companies. Yes, sometimes you're gonna to need to look up some information you don't have access to, but if you got a good relationship with a local title company, hey, you can pick up that phone call and they'll help you out. And remember also with your buyers, a lot of them are gonna need a lender. So 
it's it's important to have lenders available. So I don't always just depend on one lender because uh, lenders handle different different types of, of, of loans. So, you know, I make sure I build relationships with uh, lenders that, that, that handle conventional loans, you know, FHA loans, uh, different lenders are better at uh, handling the, the VA loans or some lenders only handle land loans or they may handle mobile homes, things like that. So it's always good to have four or five lenders uh, available and figure out what their expertise is. And, and that way, you, whenever something like this comes up, you know who to refer your clients to. All right, so remember, buyers and sellers, super important to build those relationships, but don't forget about these folks right here. You need to start building those relationships with them as well. All right, I hope this video helps out. Thanks again. See you next time.